Governor Brown, Governor Brown, we demand you come out and restore proper Easter egg hunt order. Hi, Jack Oman from the Sacramento Bee with Ed Fletcher. Last Saturday, there was a little bit of chaos on the Capitol Mall during the Easter egg hunt. So what we thought we would do is show you how to have a proper Easter egg hunt. Giving proper instruction for Easter egg hunts. Anybody want to participate in a proper Easter egg hunt? Here with my friends Joey and Kehlani in class from Greer Elementary School, is that right? Greer? Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to show these kids how to properly have an Easter egg hunt. Okay, so Joey says you got to wait till I say go. Okay? Joey, go! <laughs> Go, go, Joey, go, go. Would would you be shoving and pushing? No, that no, that's the that's the wrong one, right? Would you be shoving and pushing? No, you wouldn't be doing. Okay, so but if you were to be shoving and pushing, you're a football player, right? So I'm just going to shove you a little bit, just to show you the wrong one. Okay, ready? Go. No. <laughs> come on, come on. No. Hey. No. Hey. No. Take down. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Ryan's gonna start gathering eggs, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the wrong way. Okay. Okay, the wrong way. Go, Ryan. Go. <laughs> now you gotta hit him low. You gotta get really low. He's big. He's a lot bigger. I weigh 180. He weighs 220. There's a lot of physics here. I can't believe it. I can't. Ah, unbelievable. To emphasize the finer points of egg hunt etiquette, allow us to demonstrate in slow motion four Easter egg no-nos. Absolutely no false starts. Sure, you can gain an advantage by putting your ankle-biting competitor in an arm bar, but it's just not right. Two, no larceny on the egg field. If you didn't find it, you didn't earn it. Three, no pushing. We're for reals here. Somebody could get hurt. And finally, no tripping. And we don't mean that in the hip hop way. <laughs>